Hello, Cancer, and welcome to your July reading with me, Elizabeth. I hope that you're all doing really well. This is going to be a general reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. And for all of you Cancer Suns, happy birthday. I hope that you're having a fabulous birthday month. As always, these are general messages, so never give up your power to a reading or to a reader. Use your own highest intuition and guidance, take what resonates and leave the rest. Each month I do the videos in the order of most liked, so please hit the like button so that your readings get out faster. I know I'm a bit late this month, so thank you for your patience. All of the decks are listed in the description box along with the best way to contact me if you'd like to inquire about a personal session. So let's get into your reading, my dear Cancers. As always, I call in the divine with love and with light. And I call in the archangels at the four corners of the world. <clears throat> Excuse me. And the six elements of earth, air, fire, water, spirit, and ether to join us for this reading for the Cancerian Collective. So let's start with a Moonology Manifestation Oracle and see what your month is looking like, my beautiful Cancers. So thank you, angels. Highest and best messages for Cancer for the month of July. And as I'm filming this, it's July 6th and it is the Dalai Lama's birthday and along with a few others, including my dad. So happy birthday to my dad. Okay, here we go. Yes, look at that. A new cycle, a new moon in Aquarius, open up to change. And as I'm filming this, we do have Saturn that is in Aquarius and uh, I think is either retrograde or is about to go retrograde. So you have a new cycle uh, in your life right now, and it's something very positive. New moons are always indicators of positive change that's coming, a new seed that you're planting, something beautiful in full bloom. We're seeing like a nod to um, almost like the uh, cherry blossoms, but it's a little bit different here. So the future revolutionary energy, uh, lightning of restrictions for you. And this may be a bit internal. It's something you've been dreaming of, or it's like a, something very small within you right now, but it's going to be growing. So coming to fruition. And at the bottom is a last quarter moon in Capricorn of leaving the past behind. So Capricorn and Aquarius coming out for you right away. All right, let's get a few more messages and then we'll get into your tarot. New moon in Aquarius. I love that. Some of you may have strong Aquarius placements. Maybe you're dealing with an Aquarius right now, Cancer. But that is a, a sign of the collective, collective energies. So this may even be like things that you're noticing in the world around you. Things are changing. Things are shifting. So making yourself a bit more open to some of those changes, changes in the workplace, in relationships, whatever that looks like for you. Um, I'm going to take this. We're getting patience. This is a temperance card. So this is a time um, like you can see where he has this little seed or she has this little seed or he um, that is sort of starting to sprout into a flower. You can see that there. So have patience because good things take time is something that I'm seeing. You're doing a lot of soul work right now. I feel like um, there's a lot to balance and this is a time to go within, um, call on your inner guidance, your inner strength, your inner alchemy. So your ability to also positively affect these situations, positively affect your life in this moment. It's not going too far into one extreme or another. This is a time for you to really um, come back to center and do some balancing because there is change that's occurring in your life. Look at that, Ace of Cups, love begins. Beautiful. So for Cancerians, you're getting this beautiful new energy. It's new. For those of you who are Cancer Suns, this is a new solar year for you. There's a rainbow of blessings and we're seeing two hands coming together. So for some of you, you may have been sort of patiently waiting, you know, for something to change inside of a relationship to bring more love into your life. I'm seeing like cleansing water. You're a water sign you know, cleansing waters, a new emotional experience, bringing in new love, um, deepening your love with another person. Patience to me or the temperance card also speaks to divine unions, like holy unions. Uh, and it's where you have patience to allow these things to grow. 
And so with the new moon in Aquarius, it's things that will take you into the future. And again, it's also like inside of larger groups, inside of the collective, inside of your life, a new experience for you, some type of new love that's coming in. Really beautiful. Okay, so let's get into your tarot. I've got two different tarot decks that we're going to be pulling from today. I've got love messages that we can pull from. I've got an angel deck and a really special oracle deck that I'm going to save for um, two special oracle decks that I will be saving until the end. So thank you to the guides. Highest and best messages for my beautiful cancers. What is this new energy? It may be things that you've been waiting for for a long time. Long time coming. Okay, Cancer, let's see what we have for you. So we got the Four of Pentacles, and this is where there is a bit of restriction. You know, it's where you have to um, kind of hold back. This can be where things feel like you're kind of behind this gate here and you're not letting anybody in. Maybe somebody hasn't been letting you in. There's been doors that just won't open. They're under lock and key. And the fours are where there's uh, a bit of a stagnant energy. And we got the King of Swords here, uh, this beautiful sort of fairy godmother, and this is Aquarian energy. So if you're dealing with a person or a situation, it feels like it has been a bit stuck. Um, it's been where there hasn't been a lot of change. It's fixed. Aquarius is fixed air. So it's very fixed. It's very stubborn. Uh, and you're having to have a lot of patience with these things. And the Strength card, yes, really testing you here. So... Um, you know, you are a water sign and you're very sort of driven by your emotions and how things make you feel because you're so empathic and intuitive and you can almost like, you can feel the weight of the world or you can feel, um, you can feel the vibe of a situation. <coughs> Excuse me. So you're not a very fixed energy. You flow like water. And I feel like this situation or this person or this energy has been testing your strength it's been a test of your strength. Strength comes in like when we really need it, Leo and Aquarius. So the Leo Aquarius axis is kind of important here. And like I was saying, Aquarius energy deals with large groups, the collective. Um, and the Leo energy deals more with the self. It's more personal. So there's this axis of um, what you need, what your desires are, what your heart wants, what you're driven by, your passions, your creativities versus what's good for the collective, what, uh, what you know, what is good for or what the collective is feeling or thinking or doing. And so, yeah, I feel like you've had to have a lot of patience and strength and you're having that, but it's being tested in a big way and the death energy coming out for you. So this is where the change comes in. And I think that this is where you are learning this month to release control of what you cannot change. So if there's an energy that's around you, or that you're experiencing where it's like it's under lock and key. Um, you know, but there's a fairy godmother there. I'm seeing her as a fairy godmother, or this is like um, some kind of a guide for you. Um, because the Aquarian energy is also related to the star, and you can see where like her, her needle and thread are sort of magical. So I, I'm feeling like um, this is where you're learning to release control, and that's where the patience comes in. You know, just taking time, um, coming back to center. You don't have to force anything. I feel like the change is going to happen. And I'm even noticing these flowers are the same. They're like a certain type of lily, right? I think those are a certain type of lily. There's a butterfly there. And so the transformation is happening. Something is going to be transforming this month. So let's see what comes after that. And the chariot. Yeah, exactly. This chariot is not very fast moving because she's riding a snail and um, and even her head is shaped like, you know, it's that sacred geometry uh, of round and round and round, like the wheels going round and round. So there is going to be forward movement. This is a card of victory. Um, and this is where I feel like this month, if you can sort of release control, if you can release having to... Um, temper yourself okay 
I'm not saying that you shouldn't be speaking your truth or saying what's on your mind, but don't try to force anything this month. Come back to self, come back to center, um, because this is a bigger energy with the chariot and death. I feel, and we're going to clarify these, but I feel that something is shifting, something is changing, and you're going to be able to move forward. And that's where this new energy is coming in. So if there is something that you are going to be leaving behind, it's because the door just does not want to open. It's rigid. It's stuck. There's no growth here. Um, and I'm feeling like this may even be you with the King of Swords, or it's this Aquarian energy that's just very fixed. Um, knows what it wants. It knows what it's thinking. You can't change its mind. And I feel like it's not really going to change your mind either. You've been very patient with this. Uh, and there's something new that's opening up for you. It, it's not about staying stagnant this month. It's not about staying stuck in anything that doesn't want to budge, that doesn't want to change, that doesn't want to grow, because there's a big transformation that wants to come into your life. And there's forward movement, progress, victory. So part of this, because we're seeing like the heart, we're seeing the energy of the heart and we're seeing the energy of the mind. Aquarius new moon with the king of swords, the heart and the mind getting on board together and then you can have forward movement. Um, some of you, you may even be like getting in the car and going or traveling or something like that. You may be putting an end to a specific relationship or a work situation, something like that. Uh, like I said, the doors just weren't opening for you and you're like, you know what? It's time to move on. At the bottom of the deck, this is connected into the Four of Pentacles. We get the Emperor. So again, this is very fixed. It's very stubborn. It knows what it wants. Um... It sort of uh, controls the situation. And I feel this is where you are taking back control, but not in a way where you're imposing your viewpoints or, um, or you're making somebody do something that they don't want to do. It's where you're just in your power and you're kind of matching that energy to say, well, this is what I want. This is what I need because the chariot is even about our desires. It's Cancerian and also Sagittarian. Uh, so this is what my heart wants and, and my mind agrees. And so if you're not on board, then we're going. Or um, this is a conversation that you're sort of having with yourself, but you're definitely going to be taking action because the chariot is a card of action. Even if it's slow, it may, have, like I said, I was feeling like it was a long time coming but it's where things are aligned because the universe is handing you an ace and the aces, uh, that ace of cups, love begins. It's the love that you have for yourself. You know, it's the love you have for yourself. Like it's vulnerable because she is exposed here. She's like, look inside of me. This is who I am. This is what I love. This is what makes me, me, uh, you know, and you can accept it or not. And it's about loving and accepting yourself. And you can take the cup from the universe and you can run with it or you can move very slowly with it, whatever you want. It doesn't have to be, um, it doesn't have to be so radical and so fast. If you want it to be, it's there for you. There's a blessing around it, uh, but it's also really about tapping into your personal power. This is where you take your power back. Um, this is where you gracefully move away from things that aren't growing, that you have been waiting for them to grow. Also, I feel the other message is, um, for some of you, it's not about leaving something behind or giving up on something or something totally ending. It's that the energy is now shifting. So uh, maybe it's where this door that's been closed is actually going to open for you, but it's like something changes. Maybe it, it happens in a way that you weren't expecting. Um, there may be someone who is sort of like very wise counsel, someone who's able to give you really good advice, this sort of guide that I'm seeing here. And, and also, if you can sort of let go of the need to have it be a very specific way, be open to change. Oh my gosh, I forgot that that's what it said. Yeah, be open to the plan changing. Be open to it looking a little bit differently. 
uh, just adjusting accordingly, then it may not be that something's totally ending. Like the plan is sort of like the, the end result is what is the same. It's about your heart space. It's about what your what your mind and your heart want. They're they're in mutual agreement there with the chariot. That's like sort of the balance of the head and the heart. So this is part of a, a spiritual test and challenge number seven with the chariot card. And it's an end to old ways and it's an end to stagnant energy. So I think that you're going to be pleasantly surprised by the way that things turn out. And let's just zoom in a little bit there okay so let's see what else we have for you um my beautiful cancerians okay so let's get you a few more cards from the psychic tarot and see where else we go with this oh okay okay so they're just jumping yes and this is what I was feeling. Uh, the hanged man is where it has been uh, difficult. You know, it hasn't been moving as quickly or happening as fast, or there's just an energy that's felt sort of stuck. And you see the rainbow that's coming in there again. So there may have to be like some part of it that gets sacrificed where it's like, eh, I can do without that one thing. Um, but it's also about changing your perspective. So you may be finding this month that as you open up, you open up to receive a new perspective, that's where the blessing comes in and you get victory and success with the Six of Wands. So as we get into Leo season, this is a card of Leo here. As we get into Leo season, like you're going to be sounding the trumpet from the cliff, from the mountaintop, because you've won. So it's a, it's a triumph. Um, with the chariot right there, it's double triumph, it's double victory. Have patience and be open to seeing things in a new way. Be open to seeing things from a different perspective in a new light. Um, and that's where your victory and your success come in. That's where things move along. So, you know, and this may have really been testing you in a way where it's taken a hit on your confidence. It's taken a hit on your ego even. Um, and this is where you sort of just let go of that. You surrender um, to this new energy. You surrender to something happening just a bit differently. And for some of you, it could be where, yes, you are ending something. You're deciding to. You get to decide. That's the Leo energy. And overall, it's what's best for everybody involved. The Leo Aquarius axis of the collective versus the self. It's not only what's best for you, but it's what's best for everybody involved to let it change. And for some of you, it's to leave it behind totally and move on towards your success and your victory. And at the bottom, I, this is the second time I saw this during the first um, shuffle. This was at the bottom, Rejoice and Celebration, Three of Cups. And this could be if you're a Cancer Sun. Yes, you're going to be celebrated this month. You may have like a very a surprisingly special birthday, lots of people cheering you on, celebrating you. There's that ace there, again, like right in the center, um, friendships and loyalty and all of that. So this came out twice. And, you know, and I feel like that's something for you to remember, even if you're not a Cancer Sun, is also to, you know, to water your own garden, um, to get out there and have some playtime, enjoy yourself, do have some fun, whatever that, you know, whatever feels good for you to do that, your own element being important with the uh, cups energy and the water energy. So let's get you some more tarot. Okay, hey, yes, there is your new beginning. There's the fool. And it's like, you know, she's uh, she's up here on the top of like this growth, but it, the, you can see where it's like, it's actually a crocodile. So um, it's where I think, take a risk, you know, um, don't be afraid of the change. Don't be afraid to take a risk, take a leap of faith, um, just to sort of come from that place of, 
uh, open possibilities where anything is possible. The fool is, you know, where you have, the fool hasn't learned any of the lessons. So the fool leaps. Maybe you've been a bit conservative. Maybe you've been playing it a bit safe. You know, um, these are such different energies, you know, where everything's kept under lock and key. Maybe this is you feeling trapped inside of something. And this is where you free yourself from it. And you're like, you know what? I am just going to take a big risk here, take a chance. Now, if it's not your message, it's not your message, um, you know? So take what resonates and leave the rest. And also it may not make sense right now. And that's the beauty of uh, tarot is that maybe it'll make sense later in the month. So new opportunity, a beautiful new energy and the wheel of fortune, yes. Um, because the energy shifting, be open to change. Um, this is where it's shifting. It's shifting for the better. Sagittarius and Aries coming out and the high priestess. So here's where the moon energy comes in and here's where your intuitive psychic nature comes in. Um, you know, it's time to really, really pay attention to what you're feeling. Um, the strength with the high priestess. So this is where I feel like you, you do pull back some of your energy. And that can also be the four of pentacles where you're pulling back some of your energy because you need to conserve your strength. You know, you need to conserve your energy because you have important things to do. Things are changing in your life. Things are changing in the world. And you're feeling like you're ready to take a leap this month. There's something new that comes in. It may be unexpectedly with that wheel of fortune. You know, it may be something where you're like, holy cow, I cannot believe that things are turning in this direction, but they are. And, um, and all of this red here, like I'm just noticing how red these cards are. So it is connected to your passion, your desires. And also, you know, it's, it's heart chakra energy for sure. And then also like your stability and, and how you feel safe in the world. Um, and so that may be something that perhaps has been holding you back a little bit because of these uncertain times that we live in. And with all of the things, all the inflation and all of that, the four of pentacles, yeah, like not overspending and things like that, but you have luck on your side and you may be sort of like quietly feeling this, um, Let's see what else comes after that. The Seven of Swords. Uh, yeah, like feeling like you have to protect this. So I, I was feeling from her like it's like you're not going to be oversharing all of your plans with everyone. For some of you, you're making kind of like a quiet escape, if you will. Um, like you're quietly removing yourself from a situation. Your plans are quiet. You don't have to share with everybody. Um, there may be somebody who isn't revealing everything to you. Again, they've been holding back information. They've been holding back energy or attention. You've had to have so much patience with it. It's really been testing you. Um, and this is where you're like, I'm leaping. I'm, I'm out or I'm changing something up. And, and it's perfect timing. Um, and this may be uh, some kind of like um, you're wrapping up a karmic cycle with something or with someone. And, it, and there have been some secrets. But also, this is where you protect your nest egg. You protect what you already have. You protect what's yours. So this new opportunity, Wheel of Fortune that's coming your way, um, this new idea, this new path, uh, you may not be revealing all of this to everyone. With the Seven of Cups, this is about your dreams so and your wishes and your hopes and all of that. Another uh, seven coming, seven coming out with the Chariot, is it a dream worth pursuing? Um, and it's where you're, you're like guided here. So you know which thing it is, which person it is, which idea it is, which hope it is, and you're going for it. So this is like your spiritual test and challenge here. Um, which dream is worth pursuing? And you'll know, and it will be victorious. And I'm feeling like it's even connected into this King of Swords here, just with the stars, with the energy of the stars. So it is about following your uh your your own guidance and your cosmic i don't know it's like it's cosmic here uh because it's a new moon in aquarius and aquarius is also the cosmic energy you know it's cosmic so um have patience because the energy is shifting so if you're like maybe this is already happening for you but if you're like at your wits end just know that there's a new beginning there really is something new that's coming in for you a new cycle 
Wheel of Fortune's a 10. It's the end of a cycle. Um, so I see Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius, Cancer, Sagittarius, Aries, and Pisces is what's coming out in your reading so far. Even uh, the Hanged Man is a card of Pisces. Um, and at the bottom, we get the Page of Cups, and that is your energy, and this is youthful, it's creative, it's being in the flow. Even if your dream sort of seems a bit ridiculous, or the thing even seems like, is that even possible? Um, she is having a conversation with a goldfish in a teacup. So it is about exploring the things that like your heart really desires, but also coming at it with the King of Swords from like, you know, sort of like a logical perspective. It's like being able to, um, you know, methodically think these things through. So I feel like in maybe at this time in the month, you're sort of like thinking things through. You're seeking wise counsel with someone else or with yourself. Uh, and you're feeling that the shift is upon you and you're feeling like uh, there's new energy that's coming in and then you leap. And then it's like the wheel is right behind you. So you're not leaping alone. <laughs> That's what I'm feeling here. It's like you have the universe has your back. This is, um, it's the wheels turning in your favor here. Even if you may be feeling protective, like, I don't know, like you, like somebody doesn't want this happening for you or that if you do this thing, it will affect other people negatively. You'll be letting someone down or someone won't be happy for you. That's only, that's a message for just a few of you. Like this high priestess with the seven of swords here, I'm feeling like you're having to protect yourself from something or some of you feel like there's somebody who may not be happy about this in some way, shape or form. So, okay, let's move on. I want to get you um, a couple of cards from this beautiful fractal deck. So uh, all of the decks are listed in the description box. Yes. Uh, if you're feeling like any kind of negative energy or, or um, things that you're ready to release with the death energy, the violet flame helps you to clear it. It helps you to like any density or if there's karma with someone or negative energy around something, you can shift all of that. So you can totally call in the violet flame. The energy is shifting. Uh, it's transmuting and you're doing that too. So we got a jumper. You're doing that too with the patience card. Um, like you're really doing that too. We're going to take all of these. Um, you are absolutely co-creating this. Um, the, the patience card is temperance. And that's also where uh, there's an angel, the angel of temperance. And it's like, you are the alchemist inside of this. Uh, so we're getting your divinity that's coming out for you. So this is really beautiful because I'm feeling like this is a um, a choice point because the high priestess is a number two and that's about you know relationships choices duality yes or no good or bad black or white all of that um this is part of your divine plan this is your divinity here this is very third eye and crown chakra the third eye definitely um being connected to your dreams and your visions and cosmic energy and where your north star is and all of that um that this is like sort of um, what this time is kind of like representing for a lot of you. So I think we'll put that one up there. And that's where, you know, uh, it's like the good things take time. That's why your patience is so important because these things take time and we're getting fairy magic for you. So I feel like nature and the elementals are playing an important role inside of this uh, new cycle because it is a new cycle for cancer and that's where like the love begins comes in um you can see like the the fairies are sort of giving you a rainbow blessing some of you may be connected to the fae the elven the crystal kingdom plants animals like it's very nature inspired very nature oriented so uh there is magic uh the ones are aces but they're also connected into the magician so there's this beautiful magic that's happening uh, inside of the Cancer Collective this month. And it's leading to great victory and great success for all of you. And then the other last card that came out uh, is the Write card. So writing, reading, writing, journaling, um, Gemini energy, it's that air energy. So it may help for you to sort of like keep a journal 
um, just a daily journal about writing down your thoughts and feelings. Obviously, communication may be really important. Who you communicate with, who you're talking to. The high priestess is very discerning about who she communicates with. So it's like watching your words, being careful what you share. Um, and some of you may be called to really express. And you're doing it in this place where you're actually channeling messages. Um, you're a divine channel and you're seeing where you're doing like this automatic writing or this channeling, uh, whatever that looks like. The written word is uh, very important for cancer this month and that may really resonate for some of you. Let's check the bottom and see what was at the bottom of the deck. And music, look at that. Writing music, writing and music, beautiful, very creative. Um, and that's the Page of Cups too because our little Page of Cups here is very creative. She is inspired, um, but it's from her heart. And it's something that may not be fully formed. Again, it's an idea. It's a new creative endeavor. That's what the Ace of Cups may represent for you. It brings you a new emotional experience. So maybe you're writing music, listening to music this month. Very important. Maybe it's some fairy music. You sing, you do sound healings. Just music is important for you. So your communication, maybe while you're writing, you're listening to a certain type of music. Um, but I'm feeling like you are, uh, you're having this creative kind of, um, renaissance <laughs> they're giving me the word renaissance you're having like a creative renaissance with the writing and the music i mean that is so interesting uh, that writing and music is coming out for you so if those resonate i would love to know please um please let me know if that resonates and underneath that was confidence so your confidence is key you can do this okay you can do this if you're you know if this is resonating you can do this cancer all right so Let's get you a message. I got this cute little deck, the Empath Power Cards by Lola. Um, and you're going to love these. So it's the Lola Pickett uh, on Instagram and lolapickett.com. I just think that these are amazing. And you are like, in my opinion, you're the empath of the Zodiac. So um, you're like the premier empath, the premier empath of the Zodiac. So my beautiful cancers, let's see what messages your guides have for you. For the month of July. I celebrate without escape. Interesting. Um, you know, the three of cups can indicate like maybe there's a lot of people who are partying and drinking and whatever. You don't have to partake in that um, if you don't want to, like you can celebrate without escaping. Um, and it may be where, you know, maybe you've been holding back on some of uh, socializing or celebrating or just allowing yourself to enjoy and have fun. Um, and you're like only allowed to do that if it's an escape or like you're rewarding yourself for a lot of hard work. Like you're allowed to celebrate just because you're allowed, because you're alive. That's enough for a celebration. So it doesn't have to be because like you're escaping something or you're feeling like um, trapped, like behind, you know, that four of pentacles, it's your first card out. So it's powerful. Um, so you get to celebrate just because you get to celebrate. And for some of you, maybe um, this is a new path of like sobriety, you know, or um, I don't know, it's going to resonate differently for each of you. Maybe this is a part of the energy of somebody else that you're dealing with, you know, maybe they uh, escape a lot or your escape could be you know just into daydreams and things like that and this is where you get to make it a reality and that's going to be a lot for you to celebrate and we also get I am worthy beautiful cancer you are worthy simply because you are okay and uh, that's another thing they want you to know I surrender to the flow beautiful and that's the flow of your ace of cups that's the flow of your page of cups even the chariot, you know, um, and the wheel of fortune is always in flow too. So it's actually like the seasons and the cycles of nature that you're, that you're surrendering to that fairy magic there. And let's do one more just because I love these. I will empower and not enable. That's a big one. So whether this is about yourself 
or um, this energy, you know, that feels a bit fixed and stubborn in your life could be like a boss or a parent or a sibling or a partner or a friend. Um, you do not have to enable anyone. You are absolutely on your own path. If you've been sacrificing your own dreams for something else or someone else or somebody else's expectation, you can be empowered. You don't have to enable anybody's bad habits or things like that. You can definitely either move on from it, focus on yourself or speak your truth. It's going to resonate differently for each of you. Um, I'm not seeing the devil card here or anything like that. It just feels like there's just a bit of a conservative kind of fixed energy. And the message from the guides is like to be more in flow, um, you know, but still be discerning and smart and still temper yourself where you need to and um, not to go too far into one direction, not to go too far into one one extreme or the other but um i think that that will resonate differently for each of you and let's finish up with a message from your angels let's see how long we went yeah good i wanted to keep these under 40 minutes this month so this deck i will not be able to list in the description box because i found it at goodwill in sedona and it has no name on it um, I wish that he or she would have signed these cards. I have no idea who made them, but there's a lot of them. And they're actually, they're really powerful messages and the artwork is really pretty. So let's get Cancer um, a message from the angels. So thank you, angels. What message do you have for my beautiful Cancers for the month of... July. Let's do three. We'll do Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon, and Cancer Rising. Switch it up a little bit this month. So three cards, one for Cancer Sun, one for Cancer Moon, and one for Cancer Rising. Okay, this just came out in a reading that I did for the Earth Signs. It's a really cool message. So, or maybe it was a different one. So here's your angel. Cancer Sun, new ideas take shape and blossom. Involve a friend or a partner in your ideas for creative feedback. Funds and materials for the manifestation of your creative desires can appear from unexpected sources. Be open to reconsider and release the inner bohemian in you and enjoy the process. The joy of life will come forward and it's time for you to dance to your own inner song. You are unstoppable. With grace and gratitude, you are irresistible. Your power of manifestation is strong right now. Create a vision board and ask your fire angels to help you achieve your dreams now that the timing is right. That's also patience. Temperance is divine timing. The wheel is ready to turn for you. Interesting, it's fire angels. Um, and also uh, the funds and materials, maybe that's the four of pentacles. You've been saving, you've really had to conserve your energy. You have this beautiful idea, but you're wondering where's the money gonna come from? Where are the resources coming from? Your universe is gonna bring it to you. So I feel that, um, and also reconsidering and reevaluating, reassessing. I was feeling like, well, where can you make some um, adjustments? And to really be inside of that joy of life coming forward, it's time for you to dance to your own inner song. You're unstoppable, you're irresistible, and you have a powerful manifestation energy that is with you right now, Cancer. Cancer Sun. Cancer Moon. And this is your angel. Patiently and persistently, you are working your way through challenges. Patiently, patience. It is important for you, especially right now, to stay organized, focused, and calm. Close off a bit of the outside noise and enjoy the tranquility of your thoughts in beautiful surroundings where you know you can recharge and regain inner calmness. People might unintentionally create hurdles for you. Shake them off and don't take it personally. You have a calming effect on those you refuse to engage in conflict with. That's like where the strength is coming in and temperance of tempering yourself. Like, you know, it's it really is that emperor energy about being in your power. 
King of Swords, uh, detaching a bit emotionally from the, the things that trigger you, the people that are triggering you or situations that are triggering you. This is a time for you to stay organized and focused and most importantly, calm. Have patience and persist, okay? You're working your way through any challenge that's in your way and you've got victory twice, the chariot and the six of wands. Okay, Cancer rising. Ooh, look at her or him. Cancer rising. Nice. You are facing headwinds in your life right now. Be aware of how stress affects you. Oh, the headwinds are... Okay, this is where there is like sort of resistance coming at you. Um, be aware of how stress affects you. While you sense the right direction for your life, you need to focus, prioritize, and structure better to make daily decisions easier for you. You create your own energies of healing and self-protection that run through your chakras. I send you loving hope that my guidance to you will help brighten your thoughts when you most need it. Listen to us and believe in yourself. Feel what's right for you and stand your ground. Very specific message for Cancer Rising. So um, that's the strength. Have, you know, have courage. You may be facing headwinds right now um, and you may feel stressed and you can sense the right direction. It's like, you know where your, your Ace of Cups is. You know what that is. So now is a time uh, to do some healing, protect yourself a little bit, work with your chakras, um, know that the angels totally feel you like they really are watching and they're listening um, and they're also speaking to you. They're sending you signs so that you can believe in yourself um, and stand firm in what's right for you. So my beautiful Cancerians, those were the messages. I hope that you enjoyed this. I'm going to be work, and I just saw 4044 on the timestamp. So lots of fours and you are the fourth sign of the Zodiac, the fourth house, house of hearth and home and the mother and nurturing and love and safety and all of those beautiful things. And I love you, my beautiful Cancers. I love you so much. I'm wishing you a beautiful month ahead. Take really, really good care and I will see you all soon. Namaste.